Hello, my name is Ned, and in this video series, I will be teaching you how to build a simple CRM application using the Caspio platform. Just a few things to point out before we begin. This is an entry-level application. It's really meant for first-time users to get acquainted with the platform and to get their feet wet with some of the basic to intermediate functionality. For more advanced concepts and features, you can browse our library of articles and videos inside the knowledge base or visit our YouTube channel for additional videos and resources. Lastly, this application can be found inside your Caspio trial account, so feel free to explore and modify the app as much as you want. If you want to learn how the app was developed from scratch, then sit down, relax, and enjoy this step-by-step -step video series. In part one, I will be giving you a quick overview of the application so that you know exactly what we plan on developing. Let's take a look. Inside our simple CRM application, uh, we chose to develop an app that has two user levels. We can log in as an employee or a sales rep, or we can log in as a manager. Keep in mind that the Caspio platform allows you to build a much more sophisticated user level management workflow, but for the sake of this training video series, we opted out to keep things a bit more simple. Let's take a look at the functionality from the employee perspective first. I'll go ahead and sign it as Kelly Smith, who happens to be our sample user. Once logged in as Kelly, immediately we have a view of our dashboard that displays our sales funnel and our entire pipeline. The pipeline is broken down in four stages. We can see all of the revenue in the prospect stage, all of the revenue in the forecast stage at 50% closing rate, revenue in the forecast stage at 80% closing rate, and last but not least, all of the deals that we have currently closed or won. Below the chart is a nice report that groups all of our potential leads in each stage, and we can prioritize and follow up with each of our leads when needed. As Kelly, I can also input a new lead via a form, and at the very bottom of the form, I can set the stage and input a lead size for this contact. I can also search all of the leads based on some criteria and see the results on the subsequent screen. Note that on this report we're displaying a stacked bar chart broken down based on stage, which is a great way to show Kelly all of the revenue that could potentially close for any given month. Now let's take a look at what the manager can see once he or she signs into their dashboard. I'll log in as John who happens to be the manager in this demo. And when John logs in, right away he's able to see the entire company's sales funnel also broken down in four stages. This funnel is an aggregate of all of the employees that are inputting their sales leads and revenue. If I scroll down, we will be able to see a report that lists five different employees that are currently supervised by John. And we can see every deal that Kelly is currently working with. I can expand and collapse each of our stages if interested in seeing details of each lead. As a manager, I also have the ability to select all of Kelly's leads and quickly reassign them to other employees using a mass update feature if needed. I can also drill into details of each lead to update or make changes if needed. And lastly, as a manager, I can also add a new sales rep to the team, and I can manage each of the reps by drilling into details, making changes to their information, promoting them using a simple dropdown, and make them active or inactive using an account status checkbox. So this is the application we're going to learn how to build in this video series. I hope you enjoy learning as much as I enjoy putting this video tutorial for you. Join me in the next video where I teach you how to develop the necessary database tables which will serve as the foundation for this simple CRM app. I'll see you there.